Lexington County Senator Katrina Sheely and fellow lawmakers honoring seven South Carolina soldiers who gave their life defending our country. There's nothing you can do that'll ever bring their loved one back, but I think this is just a small way we can say thank you. He's got two beautiful children that will grow up and hear the stories of what a great man he was. Diane Rawls' son, First Lieutenant Ryan Rawls, was one of three South Carolina guardsmen killed last June in a suicide bombing attack in Afghanistan. Sergeant John Metter of Columbia and Sergeant First Class Brad Thomas were also killed in action nearly one year ago. Those three men, along with four others, being honored and remembered for paying the ultimate sacrifice. The world has gone on and life goes on for everyone, but for us, you know, that day's kind of will always be in our memory. Pride. We're just so proud of, of him and what he stood for and knowing that his sacrifice means that we're able to be here today. Lawmakers presenting parents and children with awards Monday in a flag that was flown at half staff above the state house after their soldier was killed. For these families, this Memorial Day will be a day of memories of husbands, fathers, and sons. Ryan would want to be remembered, first of all, as being a Christian and a good father. He was a good brother and he was an excellent son. Sad, but we're proud. And yes, we sit around and cry a good bit, you know, because I think as a mother and a father, you know, it, 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 you can't replace a son. Lawmakers making sure while they're gone, they're never forgotten. In Columbia, Rob Starkey, Watch Fox News.